Open Gastric Bypass Surgery for Obesity. What is the procedure and how is it performed? There are several surgical procedures that can assist severely overweight or obese people with weight loss. Gastric bypass is used in extreme cases of obesity, when conservative treatments have failed. And it is also one of the most successful in terms of the amount of weight loss and the ability for patients to keep the weight off after surgery. It involves two components that make it so successful, restrictive and malabsorptive components. Restrictive refers to the new gastric pouch that is created. Malabsorptive is the reconnection of your intestine further downstream. This allows fewer calories to be absorbed by your intestines. Gastric bypass surgery is performed under general anesthesia when you're unconscious and pain-free. The beginning of the stomach is then stapled off to the size of a golf ball. Part of the small intestine is then divided and the distal portion is then brought up to the new gastric pouch and joined. This allows the food to bypass the rest of the stomach and the beginning of the intestines. The other end of the small intestine is then joined up to the distal portion further downstream. This allows digestive juices from the stomach and organs to mix with the digested food further down. A tube may be inserted into your excluded portion of the stomach, and this will be removed in four to six weeks as an outpatient if you are doing well. The entire procedure usually takes about four hours. Why is this procedure performed? This procedure is performed for those morbidly obese patients that have been unable to lose weight through non-operative weight loss methods. There are guidelines proposed by the National Institute of Health for gastric bypass. You must have a body mass index of greater than 40 or greater than 35 if you have other medical problems such as diabetes, hypertension, or other issues related to your obesity. Body mass index is calculated using your height and weight. It gives clinicians a single objective number to define your obesity. Most patients can expect to lose 50 to 60 percent of the excess weight within the first two years of surgery. What should I expect after surgery? After surgery, you will be given intravenous, through a vein, pain medication to keep you comfortable. You will have a urinary catheter, a tube placed in the bladder to collect urine, that will come out in several days. You will not eat right away and may often feel nauseated from the medications and anesthesia. A swallow study may be ordered prior to resuming a diet to evaluate your new gastric pouch and its connection to the small intestine. You will be encouraged to move after surgery as soon as possible. This decreases your risk of lung complications and clots in your legs. Bowel movements may not occur for several days after the surgery, but the return of bowel function will be noted when you start to pass gas. You will be unable to lift heavy objects, over 15 pounds and should avoid strenuous activity for six weeks after surgery. The dressing will be removed in the hospital and typically you will be able to shower when the dressing is removed. You will be unable to drive while you are on painkillers. You will typically spend four to six days in the hospital and you will have resumed all your normal activities three to six weeks after the procedure. If you are on medications for any medical problems such as diabetes or hypertension. They may be resumed slowly as dosages are modified with your new eating habits.